Hello and welcome to another video. This is just going to be a really quick video to see if these things work. Um, these are tiny little machines from old jukeboxes and um, I like them because they're quite small um, and yet they've still got floppy drives, USB, CD DVD drives in the front and um, Probably not going to go into too much detail about what's inside maybe we'll look inside one of them um, but yeah this is just going to be a quick video to see if they work and so I'm going to put the power in to this bottom one I've got this showing the wattage and we have That's too many beeps. That means it's not happy. So rather than like spend a lot of time working out what's going on, I'm just gonna move on to the next one. And I will, at a later date, spend some time working out the state of all of these different machines and what's going on with them. Um, but for the time being, I'm just going to see what happens. So I've now moved on to the second one. That's got one beep. There's a slight sort of clicking from the hard drive. Not sure what's going on with the monitor. It should be be working. Just double check of the power cable. Everything connected there. Um, and I probably switched it off by accident. So we're booting into Windows XP on this one and it's going to run the software that's installed on it. Um, let's just um, restart this one and go through the boot process again. Then we can see the BIOS. So this is this is literally the first time I've switched these on after picking these up. So we've got a socket 3, 7 Pentium 3, 1 gigahertz. Nice. Let's see if we get anything on the first one. If we get anything on the screen with the one that was beeping. So they switch on straight away. I mean that's most likely because they're in a jukebox or some machine and if the power goes you're not going to want to crawl inside a, um, a jukebox and press the power button you're just going to want them to switch back on so this one is at the bottom it's definitely not happy we'll look into it later and i'm going to move on to this third one plugging in the keyboard and mouse there's a VGA connection on the back, as well as keyboard, mouse, and network ports. A couple of four serial ports. Yes, we're on this third one now. Not getting any beeps. Getting power. No beeps, nothing on the screen. Not sure what's happening with that one. Going to move on to the next one. Okay, run this. Fourth one now. 
Why am I getting too many beeps? Okay, not looking good either. So let's move on to this fifth one, the top one, and see what we get. on this one and that does not sound good that does not sound good at all no beeps just noise so I'll just have a quick look in this um, Okay, so we're just going to have a look in this one. It should slide out, or rather the case should slide off. And in here we've got the heatsink fan. That spins freely, so um, there's also a fan at the back here, at the back of this power supply, and I'm not going to explore that right now because it's just had power to it uh, i've got a single stick of memory so let's have a quick look at reseating the memory that's a quick easy thing to try and we've got 156 meg of RAM and I'm just gonna move these over so you can see better let's match this up move these screws out of the way and see what happens It's beeping. Um, I was hoping that there would be a sort of higher success rate on these, as in how many actually worked, and it's quite low. <laughs> but you know, they might just need some looking at and working out what's wrong with them, and maybe we'll be able to get a few more of them working. Um, it's strange that this one has such a loud noise coming from somewhere down here. So we'll just have a quick look, see how easy it is to um, remove this and have a look under here because there should be a drive under here. And through the process of elimination, we should be able to work out sort of what's causing the noise.
here. Okay, so I think if we can take this front bit off, we should be able to slide that out. So, taking this front plastic off and broken this by the looks of things. Um, okay. Looks like I need to take um, this bit off as well. So, is it too dark? Shall I get some light? Okay, so the part number is Pro X3680 version GO. And apart from this hard drive, Kind of struggling to see what would be making that noise. It's interesting we've got infrared down here. Transmitter receiver it looks like. And um, yeah. Let me disconnect <coughs> these and We'll try to work out which one's making the noise. Or oh, maybe it's the maybe it's something else. Um Okay, that's better. Be very careful to avoid this power supply area. Um, these cables are really short and um, floppy drive connector looks pretty delicate and then underneath is the hard drive. Sort of just sits on top of everything. Interesting. And it's not SATA so You've got these quite big cables. All the capacitors look okay, as far as I can tell. Um, the heat sink's actually got glue around the where it's mounted to stop it from moving. We've got this going to the fan at the back. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. I'm going to connect the power again. And then power button. Let's um, disconnect optical drive because that's the easiest at this point.
So let's see how many of these things I can disconnect. So sure, this once you disconnect this, I'm guessing this is gonna be a real pain to actually reconnect this. Um, so let's disconnect the hard drive. Okay, the floppy drive is on a ribbon cable. So we've disconnected the hard drive, floppy drive still connected. Okay, still making noise. I'm going to disconnect the floppy drive. Even the sort of ribbon cable connection or bracket is quite fragile. <clears throat> so, okay. So we've still got the beeps, but it was actually the floppy drive that was making that noise. Okay. Let's see if we can do anything about that. It's beeping, which is better than not beeping. Um, I'll reconnect the hard drive and I will have a look at the RAM and try that in a different slot. Not really giving me a very satisfying click. SATA is much easier than this. But these drives are getting quite rare. So, yeah, and this isn't a SATA system, so we don't have much choice in the matter. Um, so I've moved the memory to this slot, um, if this doesn't work, I can try some different memory. Still lots of beeps. Uh, I'm gonna get some different memory. And as if by magic, I've got some PC133 memory here. I'm gonna try and this slot. Gonna give it a blow. Put this memory in. That's a more satisfying clunk. Try it again. A booting PC which is great so if it's just as sort of simple as replacing the memory that'd be quite nice because I've got kind of a box of memory here that I can put in um, Pentium 3, 1 gigahertz 
socket 370 net PC S80B1X-C3 bias from 2002 it's an i815 chipset and it's currently using about 49 watts and I've just realized that I'm not even pointing at the screen so you can't see and it's doing a quite a long memory check there We've got a 40 gig hard drive, ATA33, getting some noise, which when starting Windows 98, uh, is it something on the keyboard? Yes, <laughs> of course. You do get keyboard beeps when there's something on the keyboard. Let's see if it beats this second time after it's just reset. So the memory I took out was a 256 meg PC133. So it should work with uh, the 256 that I've put in there. I wonder if there's any... Um, health status has changed the um ah oh, here we go so we've got it 60 degrees it is very warm today it's like 27 degrees i'm in the attic it's even warmer here so it is a hot day um but let's see if it beats into windows 98 can skip the memory check. So it might be looking for something, it might be looking for a uh, disk or something else um, and we might need to reinstall windows on this but nice to see that we we're able to get this one working so we've got two out of five um, don't want to make this a super long video but yeah plan I guess for these is to spend a good amount of time properly um, cleaning them up uh, removing this glue from the heatsink down here it's basically glued so removing that putting some fresh thermal paste on there and yeah giving it a proper clean it's covered in dust etc now quite loud with the size of these fans and um, they do have holes in the top of the case to get air into there. But yeah, I'll show you what's on the back. And then we can finish this video. Um, um, thanks for all the comments on the previous videos. Um, lots of helpful advice there. Really appreciate it. And yeah. And on hopefully getting that system back up and running properly. Um, so we've got this was for power for a touch screen. We've got Ethernet, keyboard, mouse, uh, parallel port, serial, four of these, uh, the fan for the power supply, and then video and something. And there's basically a gap here. We'll have a look at the um, power supply. It's under here, and yeah, it looks.
2x. Fine, I don't think there's anything too exciting in there, but best to avoid messing with that. Um, and under here is the, all the different chips, Phoenix BIOS. There's a button battery, there's a dead spider back there, which I won't show you because lots of people don't like spiders. Um, and front audio, front USB. And then this power um, supply has, um, it's not the usual power supply basically. I don't know what you would call that, but yeah goes from here to here. This is the uh, for the fan behind the power supply and then there's a three pin for pan at, fan at the front. Anything else interesting to look at? The, under the green heatsink there'll be the main chipset but there's not that much writing over here. So, yeah, there we go. There's um, five of these on the front. It says Pro X. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you got this far, leave a comment or a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Especially if you like older computers. Because, yeah. Alright, bye. So, uh, I was just continuing with the, you know, checking these again, seeing which one works, which one doesn't. I've got one. Oh my goodness, that smell. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this smoke. Um, I just connected this one, um, and it went pop, so, yeah, um, didn't get it on camera, obviously, but yeah, that smells like, um, you know, gunpowder, etc, etc, that kind of smell, so this one, I am going to put an X on, so I know, <laughs> what's happening with this one but yeah um i think there's two that are that are working now one went pop so power supply gone and bang and so there's two working two need looking at uh i will replace the memory see if that works and one went bang.